you can santana Club Tropicana drinks are free. Sunshine, not for everyone. See, but don't worry. Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome back. This is Food Talk TV. Little bit early, but pocket. We here now. Good morning, U.S. I think somebody would be notified that I'm here. Okay, I started early. Welcome, welcome to the people who don't know me. Welcome to the ones who do know me. I am the Yorkshire Indian. Why the Yorkshire? Yorkshire, which is in the UK. I'm originally from India. So Yorkshire Indian, simple. Uh, so, what is happening? Anybody happening? Anybody have any questions? What the fuck is going on? Don't worry about it. I've got some new ghee. So, I'm going to uh, try this for the first time. But before I do, I'm going to play a, a, a sonnet from an old uh, Indian village. Okay, maybe not. Right, so I've got to open this. This doesn't have a peel. I've got to use uh, one of those uh, traditional can openers. We're going to be made. Oh, that doesn't open, does it? Oh, bloody no. Just imagine if you're really old and you can't, how are you going to open it? This is crazy. Hi, from Sunny Bert Burton. Burton in the UK or Burton in the USA? We have Burton in, uh, in the Midlands, near Derby. Derby, you know, Derbyshire. Burton in Derbyshire. Are you Burton on Trent, that's what I thought. There's only one Burton, hey, isn't there? But obviously with USA, they have lots of uh, uh, namesake names. Obviously UK, island names, Scottish name. Look at that. Mm, made in Ireland. Can you believe it? It's got an Indian name, Patanjali. Patanjali. Kaugi, 99.8%. Uh, okay, I'm a Yankee here. I got a fit. <laughs> God damn, burden on trend. Is it a burden on trend? There can be a burden on trend in America as well. So yeah, there's the ghee. So what I'm going to do, just one second for the ghee. I'm just going to get enough for this dish. And what I'm going to do is, oh, look at how solid it is. I'm going to just softly melt this uh, so I can get the amount that I really need, which should be plenty. Right. So we're nearly there. People will be joining. I know I'm supposed to start at four, but pocket. I thought I'd start early. Uh, near the B Burton on Trent. So there's a Burton on Trent in UK. You do know this. You need to. You need to maybe Google. Uh, Google Burton on Trent in the UK. So this dish. What am I? What dish am I making? Where is my pot gonna go? B. Go B. Alu. B. Where is my alu? Little bit onion. Alu. One and a half. Oh, it's too big. Too fucking big. This will do. That's where I met the Jew. And your mother's got swan lean cover. So, today we are making the gobi. What is the gobi? Gobi the pool is cauliflower. <sighs> cauliflower, nice fresh cauliflower. And with that, we're going to put the same amount. I'm going to cut these, but we're going to do same amount potatoes. Oh, Kaz in the fucking house. Good dog, Kaz. Let me turn the volume off. Kaz is going to come in, guns blazing. He's going to go, hey, dude, I won't be hear you. Let me turn the music down. Last forever, forever. Hey, bud. Hey, dude. How can you hear you? me? I can hear you. I started a little bit early. We're doing good. 
How we doing, man? Pardon me? How yes, you, you did start you did start early. I was doing I was I was watching somebody else. I'm like, wait yeah. a minute. Food Talk yeah, TV no, is live. I, start, I started early. What happened was um because I, I was doing some prep with the ghee and I just I got some new ghee. Uh and I just thought, oh shit, I've got to you gotta actually open this. It didn't have one of those peel off uh lids. It's actually fully contained uh -huh. with uh, just like a tin fully contained like that so i had to get a, uh, a can opener and open it this is potentially wow okay. it's quite expensive actually it's a really really good product <laughs> and it's the first time i'm using it and it was a lot more expensive than your, your, your average and geese are not cheap anyway but this is a lot more expensive than your normal so far i try it out. oh yeah and it's actually made in ireland on behalf of like an Indian company. Um, so I thought I'd try it out, nice and cool. So what we're making today, everybody welcome. It's nearly fucking four o'clock. You know, like we were scheduled to start at four o'clock, but don't worry, you missed Poco. <laughs> Nobody missed anything, don't worry. You're not missed anything. So I will actually give it a full description of exactly what we're doing. But uh, first of all, would you like to introduce yourself, Cass? For the for the newcomers, and see and tell us all about what the hell is going on with Food Talk TV, and why is this guy peeling pocket and potatoes with a strange hey accent? <laughs> Go you for guys it. are watching Food Talk TV. If you're just scrolling through, please give us a follow. This is. <laughs> You know what? I almost said Guada Cooks. <laughs> this is a this is a Yorkshire Indian. Uh, please follow him. Follow him. Uh, you can get a link to him by going to the bio, and you can watch him on his own channel. My my channel is Cooking with Kaz. I very rarely go live on that channel. Once every year or so. But uh, hi everybody, welcome in. Ghee, <coughs> ghee, that's a good question, uh, Wondering Patrick. Ghee, you just leave it at room temperature. Just like butter. Butter, I leave at room temperature anyway. Butter, I don't store in the fridge. Margarine, I store in the fridge uh, because that never really solidifies. But butter, I leave at room temperature. Uh, ghee, I leave at room temperature. So obviously, ghee will change its composition just like butter. Uh, butter will go really soft, but ghee will, go, will liquefy at a higher temperature. But I don't put it in the fridge. I mean, you can, you can put it in the fridge, but I think it goes too solid. And for, the, for this dish, what I've done is I've just thrown like the amount that I need and I've just thrown it in the mm -hmm. microwave at low power for about 30 seconds just to soften it up. Uh, and I will tell you all about that. So today, ghee lasts a long time. It really does. Uh, today we're making gobi alu because, because last week, if you remember, Kaz, uh, somebody recommended, somebody asked to make uh, gobi alu. Yes. So what I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm, we're actually going yeah. um, Dr. to Shah. reception, heading to reception. So I'm going to make a little bit. Now, gobi, the gobi alu that I'm going to make today, no recipe required. It's going to be so, so simple because home gobi alu, home, when I say home, what we cook in the house is very, very simple. It's, it's a simple affair. Very, very light spices, nothing too muchy, you know, nothing too spicy, no extra chili, chili powder, etc. No gravy. Uh, it's like a, it's a side, it's almost like a side dish that we make. So you'll have it with another dish or some dal, or you'll have it with rice, etc. And this is going to be a really, really kind of like a, a step back in time, how you would make gobi alu at home. Now, if you go out to the restaurants, or if you go out, to uh, the takeaways, etc. Gobi alu, you'll have it a little bit more saucier because they have that gravy that they put, you know, the onion gravy that I, I've showed everybody how to make. Um, and basically, you'll have a sauce. It'll look a bit different. This is going to look a bit different. And, but when I make it, you're going to look at it, you're going to think, well, this is just basic. This is just so easy. And that's exactly what gobi alu, home cooked gobi alu is. Basic, hot kind of basic. Do you put peas in yours? No. So gobi alu, so go, that would be gobi alu matter. So this is gobi alu. So this is gobi, which means cauli, which is cauliflower, gobi. And this is alu, which is potato. And alu so is potato. Do is, sorry? Sorry? 
Oh, no, I was just saying potatoes. Yeah, so potato, potato. No, no, I potato, said, gobi. Yeah. So gobi, cauliflower, aloo is potato. Mm -hmm. Nice and easy. So with the gobi aloo, we're going to have some garlic, same amount of ginger. I'm just putting two green chilies. Now, this particular dish, I think if my mom was making it, she wouldn't add onion. So I'm just going to put a little bit of onion. And there's going to be no tomatoes going in there. Very, very basic spices. And the main ingredient for the whole spice will be cumin. So we're going to put some all cumin in. But what I'm going to do, obviously, potatoes, okay. as you know, oxidize very, very quickly. So you just get a little bit of a bowl with some water. And we're going to cut these potatoes medium size, nice and easy. You don't want them too small because you don't want them to mash up. You want that firmness. Uh, you want to keep it firm. So about this size, perfect. And even the gobi, when I cut the gobi, the cauliflower, some people cut it too small. And what happens is when it's too small, the pieces are too small, it, that mashes up as well. And you don't want, you want a consistency. You want to have those florets, you know? So I'm just going to chop this aloo, put it in the uh, water so it doesn't oxidize too much. And I'm just going to put, when I do hey, finish John, the cauliflower, we're going to put the equal amounts. So there's the potato. Aloo, potato, potato. Thank you very much for following. Or thank you very much for joining. Don't forget, while I'm fucking talking, get your two palms like this. Put the phone down. Put the phone down. Get your two palms and go like this. Very fucking easy. It's very, very easy. So let's, um, let's get the gobi. So this is the cauliflower, nice, I'd say medium, that's size of my brain, probably. Medium. <laughs> Maybe I'm giving myself too many props. Size of your brain. It's probably a little larger than your brain. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying, too many props, man, too many props. He thinks highly of himself. And this is how I do my gobi. We try not to get rid of too much of the stem, and can you see how I've just cut the, the main stem off? But not, look, that's all I've taken out. That's the only wastage and obviously the greenery. And look. Okay. There we go. Look at those florets. I didn't even have to do anything. Look. And that's the size I apart. want. Yeah. Easy, pakana, peasy, lemon squeezy. Yeah. Done. Look. Done. Hey, Andrea. Andrea in the parking house. Get down, Andrea. <laughs> right. That's all I need. I needed like a little Jelly. bit of size. Uh, that's fine. So I leave that there. Thank you for the gifts, Rhonda. For this, one second, let me find another bowl because we have nothing better to do than add more bowls so I can do more washing. Right. I'm just going to quickly prep this um, ginger garlic and then we have a little surprise for the people who came last week and the ones who were here week before who asked me for chapatis. What's chapati? Chapati is a tawedi chapati which is roti. Roti means bread basically. It translates to bread but there are various various types of roti. This one I'm going to make today is the house made tawedi roti. Tawe means the griddle, the basically the flat pan, the griddle that we make it on, that's the tawa, the griddle pan. And then obviously roti means, tawidi roti means roti bread from the pan, basically. So it's unleavened bread. It's made with whole wheat flour, which is chipati flour. And we don't add anything to it. We don't add any salt, no oil, just a level amount of water and we mix it and mix it. But the secret is to use tepid water. What is tepid water? You can use warm water. Tepid water is fairly warm. So before I do that, I'm just going to get uh, this ginger garlic uh, coarsely. I want it coarsely chopped. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to coarsely chop this ginger and garlic and, and the onion and the uh, onion and the uh, chilies. Get this ready and then I'm going to show you how to make the dough. And I've already made some dough because obviously you need okay. it to sit for a good hour i would say at room temperature 
you can make it, put it straight in the fridge, cover it, obviously. Wow. Uh, or you can, if you're going to make it later on, then you can put it at room temperature for about an hour. If you leave it any longer, it does go a little bit too soft. You don't want it too soft because then you find it hard to roll. So I'm just going to just get this ginger out of the way. Nice coarse chopped ginger. Because we want that coarseness in this dish. We don't want it too fine. We want to taste this because obviously, like I said, some people don't even put tomato, uh, sorry, onions into this dish. They use hing. Hing is asafoetida. Uh, if I'm missing anybody's comments, my apologies. But don't forget, we have the wonderful Kaz here who can catch all your comments because his reading is very fucking good. My reading no good because my English no fucking good. That's why. <laughs> so okay. Hey Joel. So Joel, he is making um, he is making uh, gati alu, which is cauliflower and potatoes. Potato, 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 potato. So gobi alu and tawidi roti. Tawidi roti is chapati. Bella bap sella bap kuna off ke da. Oh bella bap. Bella bap. Bella bops and hills, bella bops and hills. So I'm just going to throw all this together. So I'm just going to chop it all together. And let me show you how to do the atta, which is quite important. Bella bops in the parking house. Get the bella bops. What is happening? Getting ready for the storm tomorrow. Storm Aisha, 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 Aisha. Storm Aisha. Your English is great. Thank you very much. It says that your English is great. <laughs> that's well, do, that's because he's in say, England. Well, I do say you're probably the first person's ever mentioned anything <laughs> about my English. I have been so overwhelmed. It's amazing. Who the fuck was that? What's going on? Fucking hearing things. I need to clean my fucking ears out. Right. <laughs> so let's turn this up. Don't fall over, but that's what you're doing. <laughs> right. Okay, so that's all my shit ready there. There is, look, ball. Can you see? I think you can see. You can see. Yeah, it's, you can see. Great. Great. What's good? So, Bobby, uh, you do have a question. They're asking where you're from. Where am I from? They're asking where, where you're from. from. So, so, here right now, I am in Yorkshire. So originally, I am from my family from India. So uh, my father came to uh, Africa, which is in Kenya, came to Kenya, and some of my siblings were born there. And then he got a place in uh, UK. Uh, he was an inspector of uh, machinery, like metallurgist, and he came to London. And then from London, six months later, he came to Yorkshire, a place called Leeds. There's a city called Leeds. Amazing, amazing city. And that's the city I was born, and this is where I got my Yorkshire accent from, the one I got now. So let me just get some warm water. I'm just going to get it straight from the tap. Not too hot. So all you need is a little bit. There's no measurements for this. I'm going to, I'm just going to make enough for about four or five rotis. So we're just going to do one cup. Uh, one cup, one cup, one cup, one cup, one cup. So I'm just going to get one of these cups. And there's the party flour this is a whole wheat flour basically it's party flour you'll see the wheat inside it's been sieved and so i'm just going to go in with this one cup easy peasy so there it is no salt no oil no ghee now we do add ghee to the same flour for certain other breads like puris bature etc etc but this one is just for roti so all i'm going to do is watch it's a visual thing and a peeling thing, you know, peeling, peeling, you know, pe not peeling, lemon peeling, peeling, you know, uh, how do you say peelings? So you peel, feel, 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 that's the one. <laughs> so you just add this and what we do is just going to yeah. rub our fingers you know. around like you're making a nice little pastry. Uh, Andrea would like this. She does things like this, making pastries. So all I'm doing is look, just a splash of water at a time not too much and we're just going to gather all that together all that moisture as soon as you feel it clumping together 
we're going to start squeezing. Squeezing together, squeezing together. And you want to get all that. You don't want to add lots and lots of moisture, otherwise it won't work correctly. So just a splash again, all the way around. So anybody has made dough, made pizza dough, bread dough, etc. This is probably the most simple dough, homemade dough you're ever going to make. Get your ghee game on. You need the ghee. I got some ghee. I got my ghee game on already. Look. So what we're going to do, now it's getting a little bit firmer. So we're just going to work it. Work it, baby. Work it. Work it, baby. Work it. And you will see it taking shape. And like I said, you do need that initial one hour. Um, for you cover it so it doesn't oxidize. Otherwise, it forms a crust. Like any dough, it will form a crust when it oxidizes. So you need to keep it covered to protect it from the oxygen, from the humidity, from the air. You don't want the skin on there. So what I'm going to do, can you see? This how we beat it, obviously, just like you do bread, with your knuckles, push it down. Right. And there's no yeast in this, so there's nothing to really activate, but there is the gluten inside. And there you'll go. And that measurement there, you will get four medium-sized chapatis. And to prove this, I'm just going to make this into a sausage type. And we'll break. We don't need scales. One, two, three, four. So what I'll do is look. Obviously, this is going to rest. And I'm going to put all this back together. But I just want to show you that he's not full of shit. He's talking park on sense. And he's done <laughs> this before. And there you go. Uh, no, no scares. Yes. Hey, uh, Ali, yes. Uh, chapati is the same as roti. It's just, uh, it's just a, roti, roti yeah. is just a common name. Yeah, roti means bread. So chapati, Chapati is the type yes. of the roti. So you have roti, you have tandoori roti, right. you have tavidi roti. It's really, really complicated. This is why people, when they say naan, the people say naan bread in English. And what people then make fun, they say, oh, you're saying bread, bread. Well, no, you're not saying bread, bread. Naan is a type of bread. It doesn't translate to bread. So when you say in English naan bread, you're not actually saying bread, bread. You're not saying that. You're saying non bread. So you're allowed to say non bread. It's not like. It's, it's so not like covered. Right. It's not like saying uh, chai tea. Chai tea. So chai right. chai. There chai you go, means Ali. Tea. Chai tea. Chai <laughs> means tea. So obviously chai. But then you have masala chai. <laughs> then you have karak chai. You have all these different types of tea. So, but yeah, chai tea is the same. There's the one I made early on, but I can easily make that one as well. So I'm just going to put these together and I'll take a pick of, uh, so I've got the one I made early on. And I'm only going to make two rotis. Reason being, guys, I'm going to shoot out of the door about six o'clock, half six. I'm going to reception and we're going to be eating lots of pork and food. So I don't want to eat too much, but my missus might be hungry. So she will be definitely coming downstairs to have my gobi alu. So there's the roti. Let me just wash my fingers and we'll start the curry. The curries won't take long. You guys, if you're just uh, scrolling initial... through, you're watching Food Talk TV, please give us a follow. The cook on the screen Hello. is Yorkshire Indian. Please give him a follow. Sweet surrender. Warm and tender. Can you see that? You can see this. You can see this. You can see that. Yes, good, to see good me. picture. Need to see good this. Picture. Here we go. Well, it was a good picture. Now it's not. Okay. Now it is. Whatever. So we're just going to switch this on. Very, like, medium heat only. So all I need is basic spices in here. We're going to put three things. Turmeric. We're going to put chili powder. 
and we're going to put a little bit of coriander powder that's it we don't really need anything else uh, what we do need we need zira zira is cumin so we need to put cumin that's going to be the main ingredient cumin and then we're going to put a little bit asafoetida so that's it that's it that's the only few things that are going in like i said very very light dish very very simple dish you're going to love it i'm going to love it because gobi aloo it's one of those things i mean i don't know about yourselves uh, in your own home growing up growing up as a child i used to hate veg dishes i used to love chicken i want chicken i want meat i want chicken i want meat i want chicken and then when there was veg then you used to get bored like, oh, how boring veg so boring so boring so boring i don't have anybody similar to this but as soon as you go out and about say you're traveling around or you go to other places other cities other countries then you start missing the actual the veg the true honest veg that was made by your mother uh, the honest to goodness recipes and the dishes that you used to have that nobody can mimic you can't get them in the restaurants you can't get them in the takeaways and you can't get them in different countries you start missing it and this is one of those dishes this is the gobi aloo which like i said so simple so basic yet it's going to bring me it's going to bring loads of memories back for me and uh, I, I i don't think anybody's going to be impressed when they see the results going to well, just cauliflower potato man he just sauteed it man what's what's the problem man but mwah, better because it's handmade you you you're, you're keeping an eye on it you're, you're watching it all the way through. It only takes about 15, 20 minutes to cook. It's going to be, all you need is a couple of splashes of water. Very, very okay. simple. So let's watch this. So the, in with the ghee. So we're just gonna let that melt away. And all we're going to do is in that ghee, I'm gonna put one teaspoon of cumin seeds. And as soon as that starts crack, snap crackling and popping i'm going to go in with my powders so to get in with the powders i'm going to use a bowl with some water just a little bit splash of water in there and in this bowl is going to go haldi one teaspoon kashmiri march or you can use degi march half teaspoon nothing too no, nothing major and then some coriander powder and that is basically it nothing else is going in flavors coming from the jeera i'm going to put this extraction on so now this starts popping as soon as it starts popping i'm going to go in with a little bit of hing this is asafoetida i will add the salt a little bit later don't you worry okay. that's asafoetida wait wait what what is that what is that Bobby. Yeah, man. Bobby. Yeah. Bobby. Well, what was that last ingredient? Asafatida. What was the last ingredient? It's in called the jar. Hing. Hing is asafatida. Oh. Right. I'm going to go in with my. Okay. Onions, ginger, garlic that I chopped, the costly onion, ginger, garlic that I costly chopped. So that's it. We're just going to go in and saute those for a few minutes. We don't want anything to burn. Nice and easy. This is such a nice, easy, simple, I like a easy. side dish. You can have it as a main dish. If you're vegetarian, you're going to fucking love this. So as you can see, I put the masalas in, in this water so it doesn't burn. We need to let the masalas cook as well. But I'm going to saute these just for a few minutes. Nothing major. And I'm going to go in with my spices. This is all looking so, so simple at the moment. I'm going to keep the heat nice and medium. Then I'm going to move it to over there when I uh, do close the lid and then we'll make some chapatis. Uh, too fast. I don't, I can't understand them. Sherry, white mm -hmm. rose. Sherry, white rose. I'm very, very sorry about that. What do you want me to slow down about? <laughs> what do you want me to go a little bit? My name's Sherry Whitrose, and I can't understand a fucking word you're saying. I'll slow it down, don't worry. So, did, did anybody need a recap? Sherry, you need a recap? Yes. 
Let's do the recap. So basically, we make it go beyond. Bobby. Go on. Bobby. Yeah. Turn the volume up on the side of your phone so you can I hear me better. Unfold. What it is, it's cut, it's got. I'll tell you what, I'll take this off. I'll take this out. It's because, you know, this underneath. Oh, the microphone? <laughs> and it's not that loud anyway. Ah. The microphone. I had a microphone on. Can you hear me now still, yeah? So we're just gonna go in with this. I can hear you fine. You can't hear me. I can hear you. So we're just gonna allow this now, these spices, to cook on a low heat. I added the water and we're just gonna let them cook until the oil releases. Now the oil releases is a good sign. Why is it going a bit yellow? Yeah, got a bit dodgy color. It's a good sign because obviously it shows that the coriander powder in there, you want that to cook off, and the chili powder, you want that to slightly cook off as well. So we're just gonna let that let that cook until the oil comes up, and then we're gonna go straight in with a little splash of water, nothing major. So the decaf. Uh, Bobby, Tanya wants you to recap the spices. One medium cauliflower. We've got two medium potatoes, so we're going to put the same amount of cauliflower and potatoes in this dish. And then what I've done is a really small onion. You don't even have to use onion in this. Uh, better with the mic on. So let's just put the mic back on. Let that cook. Alexa, switch okay. off. Dandy. And uh, they want you. They want you to recap the spices. Yeah, I'm going to do that now. So with the spices. Okay. It's very, very simple. I put some one teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of turmeric, half teaspoon of coriander powder, and uh, half teaspoon of Kashmiri chili or Degi march. And I put like a little quarter teaspoon of asafoetida. And that's it. Like the oil is coming up here, so I'm going to go in with my potatoes. Now, if a little bit of water goes in with thank, that, that's not a problem. Thank you, Bella Box. Because you want a little bit of moisture in there. The potatoes are going to go in first. Saute them for a couple of minutes. You get a nice colour with this. It's going to be such a, like I say, they're going to have easy, delicate fragrance. You're not going to have lots and lots of these complex spices going in. It's quite, quite simple. Obviously, you can... Uh, you can experiment with different spices if you want. I'm going to add a little bit of garam masala at the end. Um, but like I said, it's supposed to be a simple dish. It's supposed to be kind of like on the side. But here today, we're going to make it like a, a main dish. And then we're going to add some chapatis with it. And possibly a little bit of salad. So it's gonna be zero, zero, a bit, bit quiet. Anybody got any questions? Got a masala too at the end. Uh, I remember we had curry veg potatoes, yeah? Mmm, there goes potato. Uh, that's my cloth. Have we lost Kaz? Kaz still here? No, I can hear you. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you, yeah? I can hear you. I'm, I'm asking just trying not to ruin your flow. Uh, no, no, someone no, no, is asking. There's no flow. Someone so is asking about minutes, the ratio of cauliflower, cauliflower to potatoes. Just going to give this a mix. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on a very low heat uh, and literally let this cook off in its own steam. Just a little splash of water there, so, you know, just to lift anything that's attached to the pan there at the bottom. I know, right? <laughs> <coughs> Little splash, and then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to transfer this over, put that on really low. Obviously, use gloves, and then Thank I'm going to move all this out of the way. We need actually uh, just need a That's little right, salad. Allie. So I'm going to do just a quick salad while we're here. 
um, just some cucumber. That there. Let's do that there. Thank you for the gifts, Forge. Thank you very much. Thank you for the potato, Forge. <laughs> I wonder if anybody can. Uh... Oh, hi, Pity Smith. Colorful Dory, good morning. So I'm just going to go in with a few, um, just a few here. Take this top layer of skin off. Spring onions. Thank you, Dory. You can. Hey, Haas. Thanks for coming in. Is any questions there? Watch those popcorn fingers. I will do white rose again. White rose again. This guy is from Yorkshire as well. Uh, he's not actually a million miles from where I uh, reside. And uh, he was asking for advice on. Kashmiri chili powder. Did you get some pasta? Did you get some or not? I think he got some Kashmiri chili powder. I got some of that. Yeah, he was he was looking I for got some. some. He was Dr. Looking Sa for some Dr. Sa sent it to me. So obviously, like I said, you leave this on low heat, but yes, you still um, got to go back and we still got to uh, give it a little stir and we still got to check nothing's sticking so you can add a little bit of water. Oh, yes. So, so, so. Allie, I've asked him. What, what? When he's cooking, his uh, stove and his fan are running, and he's hard, it's hard for him to hear me. Yeah, my, my what is the fan? The fan is so, hey, Bobby. so. Yeah, I can hear you. The fan is so. Um, okay, wow. Bobby, uh, you have a question here. Yeah, they, you have a question. Ask what uh, the question. They want to know what's the ratio of cauliflower to potatoes. What's the ratio of cauliflower to potatoes? Exactly. Is it 50 50? Is 50, it less? 50 50. More 50, potatoes? 50 50. It's going to be 50 50. 50 okay. 50. So I always do 50 50. That's why I Got said it. I did a medium um, cauliflower and I two medium uh, potatoes. You don't want anything potatoes too small and you don't want them too large. You just get two medium potatoes. And what I did was obviously visually when I cut that cauliflower, I visually looked at both to see if they were 50 50 and that's about right. They'll cook. So, but the, the dish, cause it's gobi alu, it's a 50 50 gotcha. ratio. Anything that you have like that, it should be 50 50. Like say, for example, if you hear bang, there's a lot of potato, potatoes very prevalent in India. It's, um, surprisingly i didn't even know till i was about 18 uh because obviously historians don't tell you that the potato only came to india about 550 years ago and i didn't know this i thought it must be a, a, a national kind of like vegetable and it's been there for thousands of years because we literally have million and one dishes with potatoes so i'm thinking potato but the potato wasn't it brought it was brought over by right. francis drake Potatoes came from South America, and I didn't know that. And uh, potatoes are in literally nearly every single dish you can think of. Pakoras, uh, bajias, uh, parante, <laughs> uh, and aloo with gobi, aloo with bengan, aloo with peas, aloo with uh, tinde, pinde, uh, bindi, you name it. You have potato, potato, potato aloo, 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 aloo. So I always thought aloo, and you know, we, you know, a lot of our dishes, like my mom used to make veg dishes, potato went in it and also meat dishes when you had meat dishes well, in the in the 70s and 80s potatoes went in the meat dishes to make it last you know meat and potatoes so obviously you know meat was very very expensive back in the day so obviously you want meat and you've got a family then you want it to last so you would substantiate that with some uh, with some carbs and uh, so obviously potato would then go in so you know i'm used to and i used to love i'm my kids don't like it. I think they're just because they're posh and uh, spoiled. But um, I love potato in my in, in, in meat, meat and potato. I just love it. I love meat and potato. Absolutely love it. Miss it. Right, I'm just going to do this tomato. And what, is there any other questions? 
about the 50-50 ratio. See, a lot of this is, you know, if you don't like cauliflower, no, you don't like uh, potatoes, then you're buggered. Just make, you know, you just make the cauliflower. Don't put the potatoes in. And if you just like a potato, make the same recipe. Yeah. Just don't put any cauliflower in. It's pork pan simple. Right, I'm going to move this. What else wrong? Hey guys, here. If you're just growing through, you're watching Food Talk TV. This is the Warcher Indian. My name is Kaz. We cook live every single day. Tomorrow I'll be cooking. Tomorrow evening I'll be cooking. And I think I'm going to do keto dishes. I'm not keto, but I used to be. Mm. Mm. Actually, Sheila says that she's a meat and potatoes girl, too. Bella Bops, I think I'm making different kinds of chaffles, maybe. I've never made Actually, a chaffle I, I, I should have moved that. I need this. Um, because I paid $9 for a little bag. Get this out of the way and that out of the way. Where's my clap? I don't want to waste that $9. Oh, let's get some coriander. Okay, so what are we making? So this is just is this some going to be a garnish? This is the garnish for the gobi alu. And also, just a little bit for the salad. I'm going to add a little bit of lemon juice to this salad. So just a little bit there. And all that is going to go in the gobi alu, because okay. I love coriander. I don't know anybody else who loves cilantro. We like the cilantro. So I'm just going to move this out of the way. And now... What we're going to do is I'm just going to keep an eye on my gobi alu. It's nearly, nearly, nearly ready. But what we're going to do is we're going to need to angle this so that you can see me making the roti. And all you do is you get a little knife. You get just a basic knife. And the first thing you do is just check the potato. That potato is nice and firm. The gobi is two minutes away so I'm just going to add a little bit of water just a last splash I mean that's just like literally not even a tablespoon there last splash keep it covered all you need is about on average 10 minutes on that this is just getting loose isn't no it? good 10 minutes covered and then the rest uncovered and it's done so what we're going to do now uh can you see this so I need my tawa so here's my tawa where is the tawa so there's the speciality tawa. So that's a grill griddle pan that we make. We make chapatis on there. Let's we see make roti. G O T I. A L for the roti. For the roti. A L for the roti. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, and then get my atta. I'll use the one I made early on. Uh, not the one I just made in front of you guys. So there's my arta. So you need this flour. What we do is we just put a bit of flour. Oh, maybe I should have dried that first. Put a bit of flour down. And all we're going to do is I'm just going to make two chapatis. So what we do is you roll it, make a flat hand, round hand, and then we're just going to roll this. I showed anybody missed early on. I do apologize. I did make some chapati flour which was nice and simple to make um all you needed is whole wheat flour and just add splashes of water and uh no salt no oil nothing else just the flour and just the water so you've got two just roll them in the dough in the flour just flatten them down and i'm just going to leave them i'm going to go back and check my gobi alu which is ready now so i'm just gonna bring this camera in let me just uh, get my coriander coriander is going you guys if you're just scrolling through you're watching food talk tv that is the yorkshire indian 
He's making I'm just going to put a little touch, flour, not even a quarter, cauliflower and coriander tomato. powder. And a same amount, quarter powder, quarter a teaspoon of garam masala. I'm going to switch that off and I'm just going to leave the lid on. Uh, and get rid of this. And now we want this not piping hot, we want medium heat on this tawa. And then we need somebody to eat it. So, right, Rose, wrong man, wrong man. Yes, you're right. What, Not Rose? Very easy. Man, how you doing, pal? You all right? How you doing, mate? What's happening? Has anybody got any questions of this so far, thus far? Because I've, I'm, I'm going to show you the gobi alu, which is so, so simple. I mean, what do you think, Cal, so far? What, I mean, I know you're the chef, so you're probably, everything's going to be a little bit easy for you, but it's quite simple. What do you think? It's very simple. It's very simple. It's, 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 yes, it's very simple. simple. Uh, Bella Bob's is asking if you put, if you're going to put in if you're uh, going to put in Himalayan salt. You know what, Bella Bob's? I love you. I didn't. Even I don't know which salt. dish she's talking about, though. I put no salt. I'm going to put some salt crystals in there, just a little bit of touch, and then give it a mix. And let this salt. I didn't even add any salt. Can you believe that? So just put a little bit of salt and give that a stir. And then I think that's the job done. This will just, the salt will just dissolve nicely in there. I mean, I'll put it at the end, end but it'll be fine. But like I say, the time to put the salt it's there very, was when I added very easy. potatoes and I sauteed the potatoes for two minutes and then I added the gobi. That's the time, that was the time to add the salt. <laughs> I always forget. Right. So I've made two patties, two balls. Jeanette, then I made two patties. Jeanette says that Bobby is already salty. Bobby too salty, man. <laughs> I thought I was spicy <laughs> bastard, not fucking salty bastard. No. Right. <laughs> so we're just going to, all you do is you move around like this. So you do a couple of uh, whirls. Red, white, and the, the people who wanted you. this are not here today, are they? Dr. Shah is not here today, is she? No, no Dr. Shah. And she asked for this, so we'll have to no. uh, we'll have to let her know and give her the uh, information later on. So all we do is chand it. Chand is basically, chand means to get rid of any excess flour. And all we do is... Get your hand and you just throw it on like this. And that's that one. Let that cook. Throw it on. And we get some more flour. We get the other one, Sadna. Come and eat. She's getting ready. I've got to get ready yet. I've, I've, sh you know, we're going out about, you better hurry. Uh, we're going out about six. So can you see as it changes color? Changes color, yeah. 30 seconds, and then we flip it. If you're not too careful, if you're not no, too I, uh, sure here in about, Texas, we would call that a call that a what? Uh, One more here in thing. Texas, we call that a flour tortilla. Yeah, it's basically very similar to a tortilla. I mean, chapati is similar to a tortilla anyway. Right. So what you do is I just leave the gas on and then we're just going to cover that like that. And then flip. So we just get out of that nice Watch little burn. Watch it up. Just finishes off the cooking process. Some people use those kind of like white, netting. White rose, uh, yes, you handle. can use any kind of pan. <laughs> right, that's one there. Can I just put this? I'll just put that there for now. Bella Bops, remind me, I'll ask him. Uh, Bella Bops is asking. Uh, oh, there's the missus. Yeah, she's here. She's going. We're going there's to. There's the uh, missus. Uh, we're going to a reception. I ain't ready yet, so uh, you're gonna see her eating. And I, I, I forgot to put salt. I always forget to put salt. Don't I? So I'll just make this chapati. Uh, let me just wipe this down. I'll put the. 
and then you can see my missus pig out. Although we're going for something to eat, she's going to pig out. Move this here. And then same again. Just use that gas. As you can see, it's puffing up. Okay. It must, if it puffs up, it means she's hungry. Whoever you're making it for, if it puffs up, it means they're really, really hungry. Look. That's what my mum always used to say. She goes, yeah, you're, There you go. But Bobby, you're there starving. You I says, how, how do you know? She goes, because your patty's puffed up. So, Martha Sanchez, uh, the difference between this and a tortilla is tortillas have a little fat in them. There's no fat in these. It's just flour and water. No oil, no no fat, no salt. Uh, let me just put uh, a bit of salad. A bit of salad. Say hello to the guys. Hi. Ooh, well, we'll love your outfit. Hi. It's got you, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Hi. Hi, how are you doing? The cat here, you Look at those earrings. I like your earrings. Oh, thank you. I can hear you. Can you hear her? Oh. I so let me just. Yes. No, no, we'll eat together. There it is. Go be Alu. Let's put this Let's here. Uh, yeah, we'll take some pictures, actually. It's a good idea. She's good, isn't she? Uh, where do you want to sit and eat? Just here. Yes, Martha. Let me just move Water this. and flour. That's it. No oil. So, yeah, we did a gobi, gobi alu. So, we're going to go in. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Hello. She's going somewhere. Uh, let me just uh, flip this. And there we have it. Go be our look. Oh. So all we do is you get your hand. Well, I'm gonna. So simple, so beautiful. Oh, so take a picture first. Let me just take a quick. <laughs> you guys, you're watching Food Talk TV. That is the Yorkshire Indian, and my name is Kaz. We're part of the FTTV network. Right, <clears throat> here, follow. just stand here and I'll, I'll film you from here. See ya. Oh, one minute. Let me just flip it. Because that is annoying, this, isn't it? This needs to be here. Uh, cats. Not enough room, is there? Oh, yeah. Right, come on. Street <coughs> where I usually do it here. Am I going to feed you? No. Stand here then. Well, help yourself then. Right. <laughs> Tail of the tape. Tail of the tape. Okay. She's going to eat it. It's not going to feed me. No. She's going to, she's an expert on Gobi Alu. I want to know, to tell you the flavors, how delicate, not too spicy. What do you think? It's lovely. It's lovely. Did it remind you of home? Mm. It reminds me of home. Hello, I'm home. <laughs> but you know what I mean? It, it reminds you, reminds you of growing yeah, up. Look at that say, potato. <laughs> it's your home. Mm. <laughs> and there's the, I just want to show you the, the gobi. The, you see how it's just cooked all the way. Delicate. Yes. Sauteed beautifully. The turmeric really turns it yellow. Because the potatoes are... Um, Sauteed beautifully, cut right. If you make them too big, if you cut them too big, they won't be won't be right. The salt at the end is a little bit, okay. you know, slightly overpowering, but that's because I've got to put the salt. I mean, you put the salt at the right time, you'll be fine. But the spices, that's not overpowering. Less Kashmiri chili. You can use degi much. Degi much is. Some people spell it D E G I. Some people spell it D H E G I. It gives it a vibrant color. But it's not as harsh. The, the, the chilies aren't as harsh. So Degi Mudge is a good chili to put in there. But Kashmiri chili is just as good. Uh, and like I said, I just put some coriander powder and I put some whole cumin seeds. I didn't put any um, cumin powder in here. And I just put a little bit touch of um, garam masala at the end and a little touch of coriander powder again and some coriander. And this has uh, worked for 
great for any side dish. <laughs> Look at it over the top. And then, mm, this is a very Punjabi style gobi alu. Now, gobi alu is going to differentiate from house to house. So, for example, if somebody's Indian now watching this, we make it like this. We put tomatoes in, we put gravy in, we put sauce in. Hey, some people put peas in. Obviously, somebody did mention earlier on put peas. It's going to differentiate from house to house and region to region. But I'm just saying this is the way, this is, this just tastes like home. You know, obviously, uh, we had... Um, you know, Ashton, who obviously made like, you know, the home cooked, you know, from the South kind of like cook like granny. This is granny's gobi alu. You know, if you're Indian and this is basically granny's gobi alu. If, okay. I, if I fed this to like 10 Indians and they didn't know me, they would like say, well, even my grandmother made it or my, uh, you know, my mother made it or somebody made it for the family because it will remind them of their upbringing, their home. And it is tradition. I'm not just saying it, you know, it, it looks the part, it tastes the part, it's delicate. And that's why home cooking kind of works. When you go to these restaurants, takeaways, they make it too complex. They, they, they try to jazz it up too much. They add too many spices. There's just too much going on. It's a bit like, you know, when you go to like some, um, like a continental restaurant or a brasserie, and the menu is too complex for that dish. There's too much going on. You right. don't enjoy it as much. If you had the sea bass with a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and just one kind of like herb on there, it worked better than it had 15 things going on. There's too much going on. And this is why this works. Yeah. And I wasn't actually that hungry. And look, I'm starving. You want some more, darling? Are you gonna make another? You're gonna make another roti. That's how good it is. Hey, remember, you're going, you're mm. going, you're going to dinner. You guys are going to dinner. Stop eating. Yeah, we might not eat till late. <laughs> now, you're like, watch the pro. Watch the pro make it. <laughs> this is a first. <laughs> you got the pro making it now. Look. Oh, I thought I was. We got a new cook on Food Talk TV. Don't get. I have a new cook. Show. Great. Now we're going to see how it's really done. Can you see what she uses? She said Gujarati. So that's like yes. South India. And look what I use. Can you see the difference? I can't use that. <laughs> yes. That, that she uses Big difference. that one. We make booties with that one. Uh, but chapatis and uh, parathe with this. Can we make it? You won't need it. No, no, I'm all right. Mmm, tastes good, man. The gobi's good as well. It's kind of nice, really fresh. Mm. Matt says something for Vidya, actually. He'll love this. My brother. My brother would love this gobi alu. Remind him of his mum. And it's quite endearing. Okay. Yeah. Because my, my brother is the eldest and I'm the youngest. Yet when I make some dishes, I remind him of um, our mother, mother's dishes. We should be the other way around, really. Oh, yeah? Okay. Which makes me yeah. feel great. You know, it makes me feel closer to my mum when I cook some. Look, look oh, how it's puffing up. Look, the look. look at See that pot. Look at that pot. Whoa! That means you're hungry. Okay, we know she, we know who's hungry. She's the pro, but I made the dough. Jeez. That's the dough I made in uh, on camera. Made the <laughs> dough it finished. Hmm. We're just gonna keep eating. Hey, keep keeper. <laughs> 
Well, thank you very much, guys, for, for watching. Thank you for following. Thank you for the likes. That pin was a magic wand. Skalakama Squadabo Squishy! Harry Potter. Yeah. Barry Potter. <laughs> I'm going to put some more potatoes on there because potatoes are just wild. I mean, I do like cauliflower, but those potatoes are just wow. I think we're just going to eat a lot. Of you guys, they forgot that they're going to dinner. I think we forgot we're off to a wedding. <laughs> we forgot we're going to a, like a wedding reception. And there's going to be shit loads of food. I mean, a lot of food. <laughs> 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 What's the dessert? <laughs> no, that's it for me. <laughs> Stop it. No more, please. No more. Oh. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Bella Bops. Bella Bops with the magic mm. So I will stop eating at some point because I need to get changed. Obviously, she's looking very smart, so I need to, uh, I need to wear something smart. So I'll probably take the full top TV apron off and just go as I am. <laughs> yeah, good. Good idea. Good right, idea. So, yeah. <laughs> so any, anybody who was here, are you still off the sauce? Yes. Um, anybody, um, actually, the wedding's near you, right? Well, it's not near you. Halfway. I think halfway up towards you. Anybody who was here last week or here the week before um, heard about the chapatis and I didn't make them last week. This is what I've done. I made the chapatis, um, the roti, tandoori, uh, roti, chapatis, and somebody requested gobi alu. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to give somebody who a chance to request what I make next week, and I might start. Okay, thing. so Bella Bops has already requested. Bella, Bella Bops, Bops requested. type it in again. Bella Bops has requested. She's already requested. Okay. I, Lasagna, I would love bhaji. to say no, it, no. but uh, Bindi Baji. <laughs> Chinat says Lasagna. Bindi Baji, okay. Bindi Baji, I'll make veg. Okay, there it is. People like veg. Mm -hmm. So Bindi Baji, Bindi, <clears throat> excuse me. So Bindi is okra. You guys know what okra is? And then the other way okay. is lady fingers. They're called lady fingers. It's okra. It's like a green okay. long vegetable. When you cut it, it's hexagonal uh, inside. It's, uh, you, you make a lot in, uh, you see in Jamaican dishes, African dishes, Indian dishes. Uh, it's, it's a kind of like, it's not a power food, but it's kind of like class near a power food, bindi. So we call it Indi, in India, we call it bindi. And in English, we call it okra or lady fingers. Lady fingers, alternatively, yeah. That's the one, lady fingers. So you can Google that. Anybody wants to Google lady finger or they want to Google okra, O K R A, okra, that's the one, Kifa, thank you. If you want to Google that, then you'll know what okra is. And um, what I might do, no, I'll do that. I'll do Bindi Baji. And we'll do a home style, simple, simple recipe, home style Bindi Baji. Okay. Bindi, you've got to cook right because what happens is it's got this kind of like a gelatinous, it, it's a firm vegetable, but the slime comes out of it. If you don't cook it right, it gets really sticky and slimy. So you've got to cook it perfectly right. And it's almost like a saute fry, that we, we, the way we cook it. And we don't really add any like tomatoes or some people don't even put onions in there. They just fry Jeanette. them off and you gotta, you got to cook them right That's and right, uh, they're gorgeous. And then you can make fritters. What I make is bindi, bindi um, what they call is uh, bindi fries. They're called bindi fries. So what we do is the, the bindi is kind of year long, lady finger long, and I cut them in half. Obviously, wash them, wash them, pat them dry, and then I get the gram flour, make a batter, and we fry them like um, what's the um, the water, what's the uh, tempura? A bit like tempura, and they're called bindi fries. And then the, you fry them till they're crispy, 
and then you bite them and it's a lovely snack and it's a really healthy snack as well good morning and for nearly time more look gone man gone baby gone i mean that's a good sign so when Mrs. is eating she'd probably try once and mm, i don't get the feedback later well you didn't do this you didn't do that you didn't do this and She's eating, man. She's eating. Good. Come and say hello to him. Might as well say hello when you're here. Don't matter. I know you're picking out. Your bindi's not straight as well. Come back for, come for, come for, so they can see you. Everybody's asking about you later there. <laughs> she yeah. not speak very good English. Not English, not very good. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jeez, stop it. He's lying to you guys. He's lying to you guys. He's lying. <laughs> She teaches me. You teach me English. You teach me English. How you teach me English? You know, pop can speak yourself. Between seven and eight, every man. <laughs> you know, speak yourself. We're talking about. So, do, do we need anything else? Are we ready? I need to get. I think it's just. It's a shame I can't do before and after of the way I am going to look. Oh God. Um, oh God. But, yeah, maybe, uh, maybe I'll send photographs. I don't know. No, I don't know how to do we're it. not interested. Thank you, though. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Very kind. But okay, love you. Leave you. There's my Gobi Alu. Uh, let's have a look at the rest of the Gobi Alu. That's left gluten free mama in the house. <laughs> gluten free mama, man. The name is mama for a reason. There it is. Look at that. Look at that Alu. I mean, the Alu was just look delicately sorted and look just with a wooden spoon little minimum pressure and look yeah very very nice very very nice uh, all is good and now we're just going to some uh, put some tox on later uh, i need to i need to do some uh, some tox um i need to do some cooking tops uh, tox cooking tox food tox uh, i need to do some so i will definitely get my game together uh, I got banned from lives last week. What? Uh, I think the ban the ban lifts tonight. Uh, <laughs> I was talking politics. I never do politics. I, I was just talking uh, politics. Okay. Somebody okay. must have complained and banned me. Uh, so uh, I uh, the ban lifts tonight. So I might do a live tomorrow. Who knows? Uh, but I need to do some definitely some videos. Um, Hundred percent. But listen, love you, leave you. Thank you very much for tuning in. I've timed it perfection. I'm going to go get changed, shower, changed, and we're out. All right, buddy. Thank Have you. Great rest of the weekend. Thank you very much for joining. Don't forget to follow Pootok TV. And if you're feeling pock and generous at Yorkshire Indian, that is me. You can give me a follow as well, Bastard. Okay, bye. Bye. Bye bye. Cheers, Kaz. <laughs>